This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we are going to go over timing options in Nmap. Now, last week we did cover most of the timing options that you can use in Nmap and some of the basics of how Nmap reads timestamps in your command. So this week we'll finish off customizing those timing options to fit your needs. So first off this week is the packet TTL option. This is going to specify the time to live. So you're gonna set your TTL option if you're on a slow connection so packets don't time out too click quickly. So my command would look something like this. So I'll type in nmap dash dash TTL and then 100 for 100 milliseconds, 10.73.31.145. And it'll run the command. It looks normal as usual. Now you can also use a command like this one, which is for a host timeout. So I would type in for this one, nmap, and then dash dash host dash timeout. And I'll do 1m for one minute, 10.73.31.145. So same target as usual. And this is basically going to make Nmap stop trying to get a response from a host after a given time. This option is not going to show you any output, even if the host is timed out, uh, even if it has open ports. So basically, you're just going to let it time out. So you won't see anything. Now, Nmap does give you a lot of power in scanning network systems. So it's no surprise that you can also set up time delays between probes. Now, if you want to do so, you'll type in Nmap and then dash dash, as usual, scan delay, and put in the delay that you want. So I'll do 10 seconds, 10.73.31145, and press enter. So this will create a delay between probes of 10 seconds for that target. You'll notice that it runs a lot, lot slower, but you may get better accuracy if you do this. Now, you can also set a maximum scan delay with nmap dash dash max dash scan dash delay and then put in whatever d the delay is that you want. So, for example, if you did 400, it would take 400 milliseconds. This is going to speed up your scan since it would be just 400 milliseconds between probes, but it may be less accurate because it's not taking that big break e in between each of the probes. Now, with that, we're going to take a quick break and we'll go over a few more timing options right after BRB. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. Hmm. It can type scripts into a computer crazy fast, like this week's favorite from Hacksoneer1337, Hacksoneerlete, which he calls the Trollface Virus. And it's pretty awesome, so check it out in the forums. Now, of course, we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. Use the coupon code SNUBS with any order for your very own signed hack tip sticker. Bam, awesome. You're gonna be the coolest one of your friends. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Again, we couldn't do it without you. We're back with the last few timing options and then we're done. You can set the minimum number of packets that N Nmap sends per second with another command. Of course, another command. Now this one would be Nmap dash dash minimum or min for minimum, rate, and then whatever the timing would be. So I'm gonna choose 50, 10.73, 31, 145, my target, and then you press enter. So this is going to send 50 packets minimum per second. Be careful though, if it's set way too high, it may become inaccurate, so keep that in mind. Also, if you wanna do a sneak attack on a system, this is kind of fun. You can avoid some detection systems with the maximum packet rate option. To do this, you would type in nmap, dash dash max rate, so similar to the last one, and then 10, I'll do 10 for 10 milliseconds, 10.73, 31, 145, and hit enter. So this is gonna take a lot longer to scan and it'll take no more than 10 packets per second. You could even set it lower than that if you wanted to. You could do 0 0.1 milliseconds to send a packet every 10 seconds. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Now lastly for this week is defeating the reset rate limits that some targets may set on RST packets, reset packets. Now to do this, you would do another command and I'm gonna control C out of that last one. So what you're going to type in will be, and this is a sudo command, so sudo nmap 
dash dash. Now you're gonna see something weird here when I do this. Defeat dash RST for reset dash rate limit and then your target. And hit enter. Ha ha, there we go. All right, so that one didn't take too long either. Now, once you are done with this, this is going to automatically adjust in Nmap though. So chances are you wouldn't need to use this command normally because it's pretty much built in. Now that's about it for this week's episode of customizing your timing options, but I wanna know what you would like to see next on Nmap. Of course, there's plenty of other tutorials that I could do, but I wanna know what you wanna see. So send me a comment below or email us tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5 for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your Technolust. Bye! 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 Bye-bye! <laughs>